counting hundreds of times I have said what I'm about to say, but this is going to be... You're going to read the prompter? The last time I'm going to say, Scott Clark, I've got this memorized. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Clark's next to sports. And on a Monday night, for you, My your favorite, favorite segment, That's it. it's the final time we feature our local coaching gurus. Yep. Coming up on Eyewitness News, it is a tale of two NFL coaches going different places. It's the Coach's Corner, and we have big-time basketball returning to the city. It's a red storm rising. Next. The team to watch is on Channel 7 Eyewitness News this morning. No goodbyes yet. We have sports no. business to do tonight. It's Monday night. It's Monday night. It's Monday night. It's time to check in with our local NFL gurus. It's the coach's corner. And for the Giants head man, Tom Coughlin, there's an offseason ahead to wonder what if. What if his team didn't blow that 21-point mm -hmm. fourth quarter lead to the Eagles? But they did. And today they paid the ultimate price, cleaning out their lockers too early. I know that the players are disappointed. The coaches are disappointed. We're all disappointed. Ownership's disappointed. And, uh, you know, we're 10 and 6, but we're not in the playoffs. That's it. As for Rex Ryan, it's time to turn it up a notch. Forget about yesterday's blowout win over Buffalo. His goal has always been the Super Bowl. But first, he will have to go through Peyton Manning and the rest of the Colts Saturday night in Indianapolis. Man, you know what's funny? I respect the heck out of this guy, but it's like, you know, I'm going to beat him one day. And I just hope it's this Saturday. We shall see. Hey. There is a storm rising once again in college basketball. St. John's is back with a cis boom ba. The Johnnies hosting 13th ranked Georgetown at the Garden. First half action, here comes DJ Kennedy to Justin Burrell. Oh. Huh? Is that pretty? John's leading 32 26. That Louis like. <laughs> we cut to the chase. Final minute. Georgetown takes the lead. Jason Clark hits on the drive and one. 56 55 Hoyas. No problem for the storm. Dwight Hardy drives, hits on a great reverse, 57-56 wow. St. John's. Now, 14 seconds to go. The Johnnies down by one. Hardy drives for the scoop. Misses. Justin Brownlee is there, and that was that. St. John's wins 61-58. Wow. The Johnnies first win over a ranked team in 15 tries. On the ice, the Islanders lead Calgary 4-2 late in the third period. And the Knicks will be without Danilo Gallinari for at least two weeks the young forward hurt his knee yesterday against indiana and mri today showed a mild sprain but he will be lost for two to three weeks and i'm scott clark and that's our sports yes it is and you are scott clark <laughs> yes all right this is a bittersweet night for us at eyewitness news we uh we do not change anchors very often but tonight <laughs> we're doing just that tomorrow night rob powers is going to be sitting in a seat now occupied by uh our great friend Scott Clark. That's right. 24 years, 24 years at Eyewitness News. And tonight, Scotty is retiring from the Daily Grind on his terms. But how we will miss all that he has meant to this station and to us and to you, our viewers. Scott Clark, newest member of our sports team, has more. As for the defense, well, it's number one in the conference and number two in the league against the Rush. Prince Albert is playing a dual role here in these Winter Olympics. When you think of Yankee baseball, you think of rich tradition filled with great players. So it's a sayonara from Japan as the Yankees go away winners. Scotty, what's happening? Two words, <laughs> World Series, folks. It's time for Eyewitness News on Parade, Yankees Parade. <laughs> Are you doing sports without a sports guy? <laughs> no, sir, I wouldn't do that. Hey, buddy! Predictable seas. Congratulations, Scott, on your retirement. Hey, Scott, just want to say congratulations on your retirement. I uh, appreciate everything you've done for the Giants, all the, the nice things you said about us. We want to thank Scott Clark for 24 years of dedicated service to ABC7 here in New York. I'm Scott Clark, and that's it for sports. You look exactly the same. Lots of changes. You have the floor, buddy. Well, 
Simply put, it has been a blast. And for that, I thank you. For if you were not watching, I'm a goner long ago. I arrived in New York on December 1st, 1986. My sole reason was, like so many others who have come to the Big Apple, if I could make it here, I could make it anywhere. Well, I'm now in my 25th year here, and I think it's safe to check that box now. <laughs> I think I made it here, so look out anywhere. I'm on my way. My heartfelt thanks to all who have worked with me, especially my longtime producer, Mitch Fields, and my editor, Roger Anderson. But all of us here at Eyewitness News have worked for you, and you have honored us by watching and making this the most watched station in this nation. And I am grateful to get the chance to personally thank you. I came to New York uh, not to live, but to work, period. And although I'll always be from the great state of Ohio, I have had the privilege over the years of becoming a true New Yorker with your help. I've grown up here. I got sober here. I went through 9-11 here. I will never forget. You have made me feel that this is home, and I thank you for that. But my family awaits. They've asked for more time, and I want to give them that. So it is time for me to go, and Rob Powers will fill this chair and, and fill it well, very well from this point forward. But before he does, I just want to say to you one more time, thank you, and that you are out of this Done. Very nice. Very nice. Scotty, I speak for all of us here. It has been an absolute honor and an absolute pleasure sitting next to you night after night. I have said this to you before, but you were leaving the station a stronger and better station for, for all of your years of hard work. You are the consummate Thank professional, you, the consummate gentleman. And we are going to miss you, our colleague, but more importantly, we are going to miss our friends so very much. You know, a lot of people, they go, you know, Lizzie always calls you Scotty. Does that bother you? I said, no, not at all. She <laughs> <laughs> call you anyway. calls me Scotty, and um, it's a lovely thing. Leroy? Scotty, I, I'm so privileged to have joined the team in your final years. And when I joined the team, you were an incredible coach. I remember you first telling me a story about when you first worked with Bill Butel and one of your casts, and you said, Bring it, bring it, and you always taught me how to bring it, and I am um, a better meteorologist and broadcaster for that, and you are my friend, and we will golf. <laughs> Thank you. We will. We're going to miss you, buddy. The best communicator I've ever worked with, and I mean that. Thank you, Bill. We'll be right back. <laughs> it's God's friends and family. His wonderful wife, Heather, are here to say goodbye, and thank you guys for coming tonight. And that is the news on this very emotional night here at Channel 7. Thanks for watching. I'm Liz Chow. And I'm Bill Ritter. Nightline's up next. I would just use returns tomorrow morning at 4.30. For all of us, Lee Goldberg and Scott Farris. Have a great night.